Hi there, this is Kevin once again, and here I welcome you all to the another episode of Python Invoice to Data series. So, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step guide for extracting multiple lines from an invoice using Python Invoice to Data library. So, you guys, if you know, like extracting multiple lines, like I can say, a invoice address that is a uh, important uh, important thing for any invoice and other than this like we can have a lot of things like where is the billing address there are a lot of places which you want to extract an invoice it is not possible to extract via regex so in this video i will show you a step by step guide and there's a little a little new approach that I, i'm gonna cover in this video so guys without being more said let's get started So guys, if you know, we have come a very long way in Python Invoice to Data series. In the first video, we have seen how we can set up this whole library and do a basic uh, basic regex parsing using Python Invoice to Data and PDF to text approach. In the next video, I have shown you like how we can do a basic regex parsing and create a YAML template. That is a really important thing because creating a YAML template for a newbie is not a uh, easy task. So, but I have seen a lot of things like people also asked like, how we can extract these multiple lines and extracting multiple lines like we can say it's an invoice address it is something i can we can say a billing address and there are a lot of places an invoice which you can't directly target with current plugins the current plugins in the invoice data library is a area plugin and tables plugin you can see but what i have done guys i have seen also like people are commenting on this library to create some feature like this and nobody is supporting that currently so there is no way so what i thought like i forked this whole library and modified it so in case of modification modification what i did let's see the code uh, how i modified and how it is working now so this is the pycharm terminal uh, over here now you can see what i have did in the in the yaml parsing i have added one area over here you can see one is we are having a fields plugin then we are having a tables plugin then we are having a area plugin so what I'm doing with this area, you can see in this area, first I'm naming like what will be the field name that I have added an address over here. Then I need a coordinate. The coordinates are X, Y coordinate, the resolution, the width and height from that coordinate. So what does that mean? Let me just explain you. So the thing that you need to do, you need to open the PDF in the Photoshop. So guys, after opening the PDF in, in any Photoshop editing tool, something like this, then you need to choose an area which you want to select which you want to uh, select from invoice to data and you can see over for now i will just select this inomatic this address over here because this is the address which i am not able to extract using regex like using a lines plugin or a tables plugin so as i selected this now i clicked on the info over here now as soon as i hover you can see i just need to select the first starting point so the first starting point is this i and you can see with for this i i am having uh, like i am having the x y coordinate is uh, 110 is the x and the y is 246 and the width is 430 and the height is 324 so i have just added the same in the uh, in the, my yaml template you can see here is the x then the y then uh, then width then height now another thing that we are having is a resolution now what is this resolution so if we go to this pdf to text documentation so for extracting anything with the area it needs resolution it needs x y coordinate and the height and width of the area which need to be cropped so use resolution is comes in a dpi so for resolution uh, you need to go to the image then the image size and from here you can find the resolution so for my pdf the resolution is 300 there's a pixels per inch so i just copied this resolution and pasted the same in this uh, in this dictionary over here now now once this thing is done that's it that's it now what you need to do if i go to the terminal and try to x uh, scrap i have already created a script i'll just show it to you again now you can see over here with address plugin i am able to get all the values and guys, this is not the only the ending. I have also added one more feature. Now let's suppose you got this string in this area. Now in this string, you want to do some regex. You want to parse the things because that is the main concept of this invoice to data. Like we can is easily extract a string using PDF to text. But the thing is you need to extract and do the regex thing. So for that, I have added a regex uh, support over here. You just need to add a regex and in regex like a normal. So let's suppose if I'll just 
try to extract this in like a plus w plus over here so i'll just do when w plus so it should gonna work like for me so i'll just save it and i'll again run this command so you can see now i'm only able to see this uh, like a high slash w plus so that means the first letter uh, before space yeah so this is the thing now so guys this is how we can also add a regex in this area plugin now the next question arises let's suppose you want to extract multiple areas then what you can do is let's see my pdf so you can see in this pdf i am also having this one more address over i think it's a build to so let's try to scrap uh, scrap this thing only so for that what i need to do like i'll just go over here i'll just copy this whole thing and like just a second yeah i'll again paste the same over here and after that i will make it a bill underscore so bill underscore two and then i need to add this area uh x y and the width and height so let's just see i won't use the regex in this case let's see whether it's gonna work or not so i'll go to this photoshop again i'll cancel this and next i need is i'll do i'll again select this thing using photoshop from over here to here now i again go to the info so over here if i'll again hover the mouse so you can see my x y coordinate for this d point is uh, 930 by 422 and uh, height width is 310 and 294 so let me just add these things yeah so guys you can see i have added the exact uh, area exact xy coordinate and the height and width and resolution like it's gonna be same for the same invoice so you can see it's same i'll again hover like 930 and 416 and 312 294 yeah so i saved it now let's try it should add like as we are having this address it should add one more name bill underscore two so let's see i'll just do cls and to python test.py again and you can see the address is over here and for bill two you can see that's bam guys i'm able to extract all the thing that we are having so you can see we are having till joe.ibm.com so we are able to extract all those things so this string is still not in a good format but you can do it like you can use uh, replace function of python and even you can add a good regex over here if you're regex master and the things can work in this way so this is a thing like how this whole area plugin is working now the next question arises how you need to set up this thing because if you do pip install in virtual data it is not going to work because it is not added in a master branch of this package so the way to make it work is uh, you need to use my package that is a modified package i have already created a pr for this so i'm just waiting for my pr getting merged so if it get merged i will update the video description but meanwhile what you need to do uh, go to this uh, go to this github repo the link in the description copy this and after the copy you just need to do git clone and in clone you need to paste that address and that is the address so once this thing once you paste it i'll just show you once you paste it, it is going to clone the whole uh inverse data library directly from the core now if i'll do dir you can see over here i'm having this inverse data package now the next thing that you need to do and i will suggest you to do in virtual environment you can see i've already open created a virtual environment because this thing is just a test currently all the things are in beta so what you can do over here you need to do pip install and then you need to add hyphen e then add the package name so if you added the package in name like this then it is going to uh, install the package from this folder so using this after you just need to add this yaml file so for adding this yaml file and you can see the text is, uh, this script is normal you don't even have to do anything only thing is you need to add this area plugin so yeah so that this is the whole thing like for this area plugin and if you are having some doubts if you want some suggestions you can let me know so i think that's it for this video uh, if you have any queries you can comment out and that's it bye bye and have a nice day